think it was about a year ago, I uh, tore my ACL playing rugby. It, not even a rugby match, it was rugby training. Um, and yeah, slippery ground um, and just took a tackle badly and uh, yeah, went down in a lot of pain. So yeah, instant pain. As soon, like I, before I even hit the floor, I think I could feel my knees. As soon as I, I took the knock, um, it was just agony. And then tried to stand up, couldn't stand up, leg giving way, couldn't put any weight on it. And uh, yeah, the, the boys had to carry me off the field um, and even drive my car home. I couldn't, couldn't operate the car, couldn't operate my pedals. It was just too, too painful to just use my, my right side. Uh, yeah, yeah, frequently for for a while, I'd say. Um, just walk in like you, like you miss a step. Like you, you you feel confident and then all of a sudden it just goes and you can't, yeah, like I'd say it, like missing a step, the sensation is the same. Devastated, devastated, I thought, because sport is my entire life. I play sport basically every day. My job is in the fit fitness industry. I coach, I do PT sessions and that's, if I, I thought my ACL's gone, how am I going to stand up? Like this worst case scenario is going through my head and I was like, I'm going to have to change careers. I'm never going to play sport again. Uh, just through seeing what happens with it. You see it on the TV with the, and the sports, the sportsmen, they, they tear an ACL and potentially end their career. So I saw, had an initial consultation with a physio, just the closest one to me that I could see straight away. Um, and they diagnosed, yeah, potential MCL and ACL tear. Um, suggested to book an MRI that day or as soon as I could get one and to uh, reach out to some surgeons and have a surgical uh, consult as well to, to go down that route straight away. Well I really just didn't want to go down that route, um, it just, I just didn't want to, I just don't like the idea of being put under and someone operating on me so um, I knew someone who had experience with ACLs uh, so I reached out and then had a second consultation and was given confidence that I didn't have to have surgery and to, to trust it and that I can get better without going down that route and I will play sport again. Rehab was uh, very effective I would say, very painful and, and gruelling, <laughs> uh, but I did it, I did it like, a, I was militant with it, I did it every single day, three times a day, um, I was just determined to, to get back to full strength and full health and play sport, I just wanted to play, I actually wanted to play the end of the season, <laughs> but um, I, I didn't play the end of the season, but I was close to, um, it was, yeah, it went, it went very well. I'd say six, seven months I was doing rehab. I mean, still to this day, as a year later, I still um, do my exercises as kind of accessory work to my other training. So it's, it's always now part of my training just to, just to keep on top of it. I have returned to sport, so the next season, I missed that whole season. That was actually pre-season I uh, did the injury, so I missed the whole season. Um, but I played the season after that and run a half marathon. No knee pain in all of the um, all the training, and I did a lot of training for it. Not to rush down a surgical route, uh, seek expertise elsewhere and learn more. I think it's just knowledge is, is key, isn't it? If you know that it can heal, then why not give it a go? What do you got to lose? The rehab rehab works and will work for multiple people. Biggest advocate now. And he, I've seen a couple actually. Uh, a coach of mine tore her ACL and straight away I was like rehab. <laughs>